hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching y'all thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you all so very much i appreciate you and welcome welcome and welcome y'all um this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act uses in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all so you know this is big boogie y'all this is one of cmg's artists okay and he is just i'm starting to wonder about cmg do they just look for the worst of the worst rappers to sign because this guy is a loose cannon i thought that um black youngster was crazy this one right here is psycho too y'all okay and whoa, whoa, whoa. this guy at first he was signed with shady records in october 2017 or around there he was signed with them and um he ended up going to jail in 2021 and he went to jail because of the fact that he did some kind of you know drive by and um it was somebody from a TV show he was after or something like that. Some kind of reality show or something. And this happened in Memphis, y'all. Okay? Now, this is not why I'm bringing, you know, this to you all's attention. I'm bringing this to you all's attention because of the fact that um, he is a CMG artist now. Um, he is a wild card as well. And he reveals something in one of his songs. Which makes you think about what's going on with Dolph right now. Now, I'm not saying he played a part because he was locked up and all kind of stuff. Now, I don't know if he got out right before, you know, Dolph was taken out. I'm not saying he played a part in that. But I'm saying something else. He let a cat out the bag in one of his songs. Now, one of his songs he did is, let me find the picture, put the picture up, y'all. One of the big songs is um, Big Boogie, Big Dude, official music video, okay? And, of course, you can see they have on their CMG goodies. And this video was put up December 31st, 2020, y'all. This was put up right after Mo3 was taken out, okay? Now, that caught my attention, that, you know, this was put up right after Mo3 was taken out. Mo3 actually did songs with Black Youngster. Okay, y'all? Now, that's not <clears throat> the interesting part about this either. The interesting part about this is right after Mo3 was taken out, this song was put out. Okay? And this song, I don't know if this song was put out before or after, but this is the video to it. Okay? And the date just really caught my attention, too. But, um, the word on the street is this guy, Big Boogie, he is part of the Red Rum crew. Okay, y'all? And these are the people that Mo3 was beefing with. He was beefing with Red Rum crew. Okay? I told y'all it was a lot of different beefs going on. Not only was this beef going on, but, you know, word on the street is there was a rumor going around in Dallas, Texas about Mo3's manager. And they were saying that Mo3's manager was trying to get, you know, somebody taken out, y'all, from CMG. Now, could this have been another beef or brewing so that, you know, Mo3's manager loved to put his life in danger. He loved to put Mo3's life in danger, allegedly, y'all. But it's not really alleged because we have proof that he was on people's lives, picking with people that didn't like Mo3, and he was into it with, and he was, like, putting, you know, more fuel on fire. Okay, y'all? And, um, there was a rumor going around back, you know, in a day that Rain Man was trying to get Black Youngster and, um, Lil Miko taken out. Okay? This was what I, I heard, y'all. Okay? So, it's alleged. But this was a rumor that was going around. Now, due to the part, you know, to, due to the fact that, you know, Mo3 was beefing with Red Rum and this big boogie guy is a part of Red Rum. Allegedly. 
I find it odd. If you go back and listen to this song right here, please, y'all, go back and listen to this song. Go pull it up. Big Boogie, Big Dudes. And this guy is tied to CMG. Okay? Why did he put this song out? And in one of the verses in this song, he says, I got hitters in Dallas. Did he just admit, you know, that CMG is tied to hitters in Dallas too? And if you think about this and you think about Shondale Burnett, y'all, that's in Fort Worth. This is not no coincidence, y'all, Okay. A lot of these guys were tied to Memphis and Dallas. A lot of them still are. And, you know, now it's, things are coming together and you're starting to see why exactly that the feds were in Dallas looking for Stray Drop, y'all. Because Stray Drop's crew which is allegedly a part of Trap Boy Freddy's crew. Okay, y'all? The Red Rum crew. This is why this is a connection, y'all. This guy was singing about it in his song that he has hitters in Texas. He's a part of CMG and the feds was in Texas. Looking for straight drop. So is these hitters that, you know, Big Boogie was talking about. Is they the same hitters that took out Dolph and played a part? Ask yourself this question. Okay. Anyway, y'all, I just wanted to bring this to you all's attention. Because it's a lot of stuff growing right now. It's a lot of ties coming together. And I, I had no clue about this part right here when I told y'all months ago that, you know, these cases are tied together. I had no clue about this. But the more you dig, the more you find. And I'm starting to wonder, you know, the family ties with this guy. The big boogie guy, okay? I'm starting to wonder about those ties. The family ties and who knows who and who's a part of who family. It's a lot of stuff going on, y'all. A lot of directions. And this is what I was trying to tell y'all at first about Mo3. Call himself was leaving Empire and then he was going to go sign with CMG. Was CMG going to sacrifice Mo3 anyway? Because Mo3 was getting into it with, you know, the Red Rum guys. He was getting into it with them. So why would CMG want Mo3? Outside of to collect the check. But Empire didn't let that check release. Because before Mo3's seven days were up to his contract, he was taken out. And Empire ended up cashing in on that insurance policy instead of passing that check on to Yogati. And like I told y'all, these guys will work together. Because, you know, like I told you, 42 Doug was just passed on to CMG from Empire. So do they just go back and forth and they decide who gets to sh the next check? And due to the fact that, you know, Empire has been collecting, collecting, collecting. And, you know, now CMG members are starting to collect some checks. Because look at Nooski being taken out. And they're saying that was an inside job. So is it, ask yourself this question. Is it, you know, the Prince Jr.'s turn to collect another check? And it has to be somebody bigger than the guy that, that was taken out before. Because this guy that was taken out before, nobody even mentioned him. But now if you think about somebody bigger than him. Lavish deep. They pump them up so that they can, you know, bring them down. It's just going to be the next big check. 
ask yourself this question for rap a lot records okay y'all anyway i just wanted to bring this to you all's attention and um you know we do what we do we still be a nosy over here <laughs> anyway y'all please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks so much for watching peace